wanted to show you an interesting example of how the math works behind the time value of money. So a little background on the spreadsheet. I had a farmer reach out to me and say they had the ability to put up two 40,000 bushel bins with grain fan automation systems for uh, right around $150,000. And their plan, they have one of these bins in place. They can take, they put 20 to 22% moisture corn in there and dry it down to uh, 15 to 16%. And so put a lot of assumptions in here on shrink and drying and carrying and basis. And then because I'm kind of the bullshit numbers guy that likes spending other people's money, this is, I may be overly optimistic in some of this. And so I gave us a 25% discount there on uh, what the actual benefit would be. So if we take that benefit, extrapolate it out over time, and I did a 30 year uh, benefit here. This is what our IRR is on that investment. So a 17.15% annualized rate of return on that grain storage investment. And I had somebody say, well, 30 years is too long. I'm only going to farm, you know, what if they only farm for 15 more years? Then your, uh, your benefit there is, you know, way overstated. It's probably more like 5%. Okay. All right. We'll just do the objective math here. So we were at 17.15%. Where we removed the last 15 years, and we are now at 15.24% annualized rate of return on that grain storage investment. A powerful example of the time value of money. Just wanted to share that with you. Thank you.